Large public dealerships are showing big car market downturns, results similar to the report we just shared on Thursday. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homer Guy, here today with amazing Elizabeth, the Homer Gal. While not every market and every brand is showing immediate weakening numbers in the car market, just days after we released this show titled, Used Car Prices Are Finally Falling, Declines Likely to Continue Into Year's End. The public dealership reports we are sharing today show nothing but support for the findings we shared in that show. So there's definitely some positive light seeping through at the end of the tunnel for car buyers. This doesn't mean you should run out and buy a car today. It does mean that the chink in the dam has occurred and the long-awaited fall in car market pricing appears to be well underway. It's definitely happening. For example, in the Q1 reports for publicly held dealerships, Group 1 Automotive Inc.'s net income plunged 22% for the first quarter. That's huge. So despite all the new activity going on there, net income still dropped 22%. That's a positive sign for what's coming in the near future for car buyers. What's more is that Group 1 Automotive isn't the only one this is happening to. It's industry-wide. Penske Automotive is also reporting reduced profits in first quarter of 2023 with net income for Penske falling 18.9%. That's right in the ballpark of the 22% drop for Group 1. In addition, Lithia Motors Inc., now the largest seller of new vehicles in the U.S., appears to have eliminated around 1,000 unspecified positions this year on the heels of income losses. Nobody cuts that many jobs without some big losses happening and significant belt tightening needing to be done. Yep. The move comes amid lower gross profits on new and used vehicles and as the auto retailers, same store new and used vehicle sales slipped in the first quarter compared to a year earlier. This news gave rise to this recent headline at Automotive News. Auto retail giant Lithia Motors says it cut about 1,000 jobs. Yes, that's true. Lithia Motors Inc., the largest seller of new vehicles in the U.S., appears to have eliminated around 1,000 unspecified jobs. Lithia COO Chris Holju on the company's first quarter earnings call last week. So the group has been focused on right-sizing in certain pockets that had increased its selling, general and administrative expenses in a declining gross profit per unit environment and sales environment that we had to adapt to. She added, since we last spoke coming off of Q4's call, a quarter that produced big profits for everyone, we've eliminated about 1,000 positions in the field and have right-sized a lot of pay plans, kind of getting folks ready for this new environment that helps us leverage the gross and the net. Lithia did not comment directly on what type of positions were eliminated, where they were located, when the cuts took place, or if they were open positions. The group did also get rid of one dealership in the first quarter. In another automotive news headline, and with perhaps even bigger news, Lithia also cut Driveway Finance Corp's income forecast through 2025. Lithia Motors, in an updated forecast, expects its captive finance company, essentially in-house financing, known as yeah. Driveway Finance Corp., to post a loss of $40 million here in 2023 alone. Bad news for dealers, but good news for car buyers. This announcement not only speaks volumes about what the auto seller expects this year, but well beyond it too. To this end, Lithia Motors Inc. lowered the forecast for its captive finance company, Driveway Finance Corp. For the next three years, the finance sliced its 2025 forecast for driveway finance income by more than half and trimmed portfolio expectations by a third for that year. Those are positively huge forecast cuts. They are quite clearly saying they don't believe for a moment that the current high-priced, high-profit margin car market will hold for very long. They yep. are saying they are expecting their finance portfolio by 2025 to be two-thirds of what it is today. With regard to the previous quarter, the end of 2022, COO Chris Hoju went on to say, given that 75% of our selling general and administrative expense is personnel that is commission-based in most cases, high gross profit per unit translates to high commissions. That's high commissions, not just for salespeople, but for our management team, for our store operators, our general managers, our finance and insurance managers. All of those things have been inflated due to this unusual supply and demand equation. I might revise her statement to read grossly overinflated. Yeah. In comparison with last year in the first quarter results, Lithia reported a financing operations loss of $21 million compared with income of $5 million a year earlier. $21 million in losses involving financing? Well, friends, all of this is good news for car buyers because it's a signal that the days of big fat commission checks for dealers and their sales staff are coming to an end. We've been at this for almost 14 years, and almost from the beginning, we've been treated to the same old tired comment from dealers and their sales staff like this. 
viewer identifying themselves as Auto Fair Ford of Haverville, Massachusetts, commenting <laughs> on our 11 fake fees video. Kevin, just because you couldn't make it in the car business doesn't mean you should stop us from eating. <laughs> yeah. It's funny that this idiot would even bother to stop by and comment. It's proof that it doesn't take much before people working on a dealer lot begin to think the only reason a person like me would publish information to help the public is because they couldn't make it in the car business. It doesn't occur to them that an honest person actually exists on a dealer lot. It's a very myopic view of the world, but screams volumes about the unlikely possibility that anyone working in the business too long could actually survive it with an ounce of honesty left. We got to eat, says this guy, without an ounce of remorse for stealing money off the tables of everyone they've met in recent years. Hopefully today's show helped ignite some optimism that the car markets are finally starting to shift. What happens in the large public dealerships is happening in the independents located around the country who report nothing about their businesses. You better believe it. Yep. If you're new here and you missed this recent show, three major reasons to wait until after June 2023 to buy a new car. Make sure you check it out. We presented three excellent reasons in that show to wait this market out, and it only adds importance as to why you should subscribe and hit the notification bell and stay up to date on future THG car buying announcements. Speaking of our upcoming new car buying process, if you'd like to be on the list to be notified when this hassle-free car buying process goes live, email us at the contact email listed here or text to this number 701-441-3399. And let me also say this, not only will the purchase be much easier, but you're also going to absolutely love how clean and simple it will be to trade in your current vehicle and get fair market value for it. Trades are always a sore spot for consumers, but no more. You definitely won't want to miss this launch. And right now we are putting together a database with thousands of positive responses from viewers, and it's not too late for you to get your name on the list too. Please include in your email or text your first name, the state you're in for strategic geographic reasons, and the brand and model of car you're interested in. Your feedback helps us zero in on where to launch first. There's a lot that goes into making something this big take off right with as few bumps in the road as possible, and the entire team is very focused on getting it right. For our newest viewers, besides email or text, you can also connect with the Homework Guy team on Facebook. If you want more in-depth information on car buying and what things to watch out for, please visit our website, thehomeworkguy.com. A lot of frequently asked questions can be answered on our website. When you get there, scroll down the main page to find tons of free downloads designed to help you get through the process of buying a car without getting ripped off. Lastly, if you'd like to show us some love, you can do so with even a small tip at one of the links you can find in the description box below. You'll also see that super thanks button just below the video. Thanks everyone, we appreciate everything you do for us. All right, if you're new here at the Homer Guide channel, as Elizabeth just reminded you, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss out on upcoming announcements. Join our fast-growing group of subscribers and become a part of our YouTube family. If you're one of our newest subscribers, welcome. Also, thanks to our many faithful followers for coming back and to all of our longtime subscribers out there. You, you guys rock. rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.